All right, it's time to create with Quimby, and we are delving into the art of upcycling with our DIY expert, Shannon Quimby. If you're looking away, looking for a way right now, you will want to check this out. She she turned an old drawer from an old dresser into an elegant and rustic flower shelf, the perfect project as we head into summer. And joining us to walk through this project is our DIY queen herself, Shannon Quimby. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Glad to see ya. You're right. I did upcycle. Yeah. <laughs> I always do. It, no, and it's beautiful. Yeah. So talk us through this project and really the process of turning something old into something new. Exactly. So as what I always do, I'm going to get you guys busy. Yes. And then we'll walk through the project. All right. Great. So I'm going to have you sand. Okay. okay. So you each got one and just sand. You're going to be sanding the color off around the edges. Okay. okay? Just the edges. So you're right. So if you've ever gone to a salvage yard or... Um, any, like something that has old building materials, you'll find a lot of old drawers. Mm -hmm. Right. Right? Or so a lot of times people will put them on the side of the road, like these old dressers, and a lot of this goes into the landfill. Right. So I'm remodeling a house out in McMinnville, Hoff's Homestead. I hope everybody follows it. And so I was inspired by a lot of drawers. And so what I wanted to do is I wanted to, like, make it into a wall shelf. Which is a beautiful idea. Thank you. So you, what you first want to do is you want to measure and mark. So we got this deep drawer. Okay. okay. So we want to make it shallow. Right. Okay. So you measure and mark about four inches. Now you can do three inches, five inches. It's up to you. But I like the four inch. You measure and mark. And then you can ask a friend or a neighbor uh -huh. about a bandsaw, a chop saw. And then you basically cut that. Off oh, like oh clean off. There you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now there's an opening back here. Right. Okay. So then I take the back of the drawer. Okay. Uh -huh. So you take this portion off, and what you'll do is then, if you see in the bottom of yours, I just put it on the back. Oh, the side, voila. I'm almost so done. So right here, uh -huh. yeah. Mine up. Exactly. So then I just basically glued and hammered and put the back on the back. Nice. Okay? Nice. Now, this is... Kind of ugly. Okay. okay. Yeah. And Beauty so, is in the eye of the beholder, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beholder says no bueno. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Many beholders. So um, this is actually a lot of uh, old ones. They'll have this gloss. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what do you want to do is if I wanted to paint this, the paint will just come right, right off. Gotcha. So I will also sand this and then make it rough. And then just whatever leftover paint I have, I will add paint. And so I there have you go. this is actually some floor paint I had okay. over from my bathroom. So I just want to add a little color. And then what you guys are doing is you want to kind of, if you want to, this is an option, I like to age it right. a little bit. Okay. And so that's what you guys are doing with the sandpaper. I'm really committed to actually getting this done. And um, is there a special type of paint you need to use? Because I know I've tried to paint over, you know, Ikea furniture before. And oh. it <laughs> didn't exactly. Yeah. Well, once again, because that has, that has a lot of the... Um, lacquer finish right you see and so it's really shiny uh -huh. so anything that you have that's got a shiny finish you gotta definitely sand that off that Surely. makes sense or you can use a chemical uh removal and stuff like that that gets kind of messy uh -huh. but you definitely need to rough it up when i love the detail that you have you talk about that rustic look i don't know how well we can see that on this camera maybe our other yeah, camera there but you can see i mean you sand it off on your example here and it gives it that that like kind of rustic, worn, but you know, very pretty finish to it. And I think it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, there you go. There's a good look at it there. Yeah, and but that's what you're doing by sanding doing it. it in only a couple minutes. But I think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> you did do a good job. You did a great job. And the, the also the key thing, like Travis pointed out, it's good to do maybe alternate colors. Right. Mm. So like I'm doing a light color on a dark surface. Okay. So when I sand it, that's going to show through more. Oh, okay. Mm. These smart. were white. Okay. And so that's why a little the white. Bit, yeah, it's a little more subtle. Right. That makes a lot uh -huh. of sense. And then if you want to put a little bling after you've uh, yeah. Sand, uh, Go ahead, and um, and I just drilled a hole. This actually, yours used to have two holes in it. Uh huh. So Perfect. I just filled yes. it with um, a wood putty, and then I just had some leftover knobs. Now you can get knobs also anywhere, any craft store, any yes. recycling. Yeah, place. Yeah, pretty easy to find. Yeah, and you just kind of add a little bling to it, and so forth. When you you talk about the upcycling side of this yes. too, why is this so effective? You talk about it, you know, from a money saving standpoint. Oh. Also, I would imagine environmentally, it, it, it's kind of an all around win. It is. It definitely is. You know, you're reusing. Your um, this is a, a sustainable DIY. Right. Mm -hmm. Your um, it costs nothing. Uh huh. This literally the only thing this cost was the brackets. These are called corner brackets. Okay. And that's how you mount them. And what are those? A couple bucks. Yes. At most, this was like three ninety. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they come in different um, uh, measurements. 
So you want to make sure that you have a bracket that's going to support, like your drawer uh -huh. is much thicker than mine, mm -hmm. okay? And that's how you mount this, and you just mount them on the drawer and that, and that's how it goes on the wall. I think that's great. Look at that! Look at that! Well done! Cutie Jerome. Oh, Jerome. thank you. I love a it! A natural DIYer. Isn't that fun? Yeah. No, this is, um, how often do you find things on the side of the street or oh. the street corner, and then you're like, I want to do something with that? <laughs> Me. I have drawers and desks and stuff in my garage, so... This is a perfect That's right. idea. Okay, Shannon, before we let you go, do yeah. you want to give you the, the chance? You know, we talk about this every time you're on the Par Weekend Warriors Redo with Q series. You can watch that on YouTube. How's that going? It's going great. And this totally relates. We've got a new episode airing tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And it's how to install drawer sliders. Oh, awesome. Smart, right? which is also really, really tough. Yeah. It, you think it is. It depends on the hardware. Yeah. Okay, so tune in. Well, there I will you go. definitely have to tune in. Well, Shannon, thank you for another great project. I would like to say this looks beautiful. You nailed it. Yeah. Well done. Thank well done, Jerome. You. Thank <laughs> you. And for another walkthrough of this DIY project, we will post that on coin.com. Be sure to follow Shannon on Facebook for giveaways and more. And check out the new episode of her web series, Par Weekend Warriors Redo with Q, dropping tomorrow on YouTube. All right, it's 8.43.